Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and today I'm bringing you my townwide yard sale haul from Hopakong, New Jersey. Uh, bought a whole lot of stuff, so let's get into it. All right, so uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a big mix here. The one place I stopped, and I didn't catch this one on film, but I was about to leave. I didn't really see anything. And then she mentioned, she mentioned something. Actually, no, I did buy something there. What did I buy? I think it might've been, I think it might've been a Lennox figurine. And I don't even know where that is. I'll have to find it because I have to switch some stuff out here. Um, this is not all of it, <laughs> of course course it's not anyway whatever she mentioned I went back to look at it wasn't interested in it but I found a bunch of this stuff um in the same area that I didn't see before so these are all envy medical different creams brightening cream glycopeel um more brightening pads I don't know anyway I was like well how much are these they're all new and sealed she said 50 cents a piece Heck yeah. So I looked up like two of these. I think one goes for 30, one goes for 50. The other two I still have not looked up. But yeah, that was a super good deal. So I was so excited with that. Because uh, in the beginning, it started off a little slow. It really did. Um, all right, then I stopped at another. This was a really good deal. This is one of those um, Polish pottery pieces. Nice bowl and it was only a dollar. This lady was like, everything is a dollar. So can't go wrong with that. This, I looked over a couple times. I don't think it's broken, which is good. This is really cool. It's from the White Barn. And I just, I love Halloween stuff. This is from the White Barn Candle Company, like a jar candle holder. And it's just, it's just really, really cool. So a dollar. And also there, I got this this is not marked, but I know what it is. It's a Yankee candle, um, Illuma, Illuma jar lid or Illuma lid, one or the other, they call it. Uh, and these usually do pretty well. Some of these can do very, very well. This one's a pretty basic Halloween one. I don't know, maybe 15 bucks, but yeah, it just goes on top of like the small jar candles. And then I guess it like illuminates the ceiling. Uh, all right, where am I going to put this stuff? All right, we'll get this out of the way. One of the stops I made, and I'm not sure where the other stuff is. I'll get it together. But I got these three pieces. I think I might have overpaid for it. This is a vintage Lennox um, pattern. It's the Lido pattern. This is like a big platter, which actually I think the platter, I think the platter sells for 50. I paid 30 for all three pieces, which was a little high but it's in really good condition. And then I also got the candles. That's making noise, that's inside. Sometimes pieces break off on the interior during the firing process, but there's no external damage, but you do hear it when you shake it. So anyway, I do have the two candlesticks. Now she initially wanted $60 for all of this. She wanted $20 a piece. So I did get her down to 30. Um, but still I might've gone a little, a little too high for that, but I'll still make profit. So I'm not really worried about it. Uh, then I picked this up. She wanted three. I got it for two. This is Arabia, Finland. I love finding Arabia, Finland. Um, this little picture, featuring the yellow butterfly should go for about $45. Um, there's a blue one. I think that's a little more common. It seems like the yellow one is not as common, but here is, it's got some crazing on the bottom. This is the Arabia marking. They have a mug series. Um, I can't think of the little characters names right now. It's on the tip of my tongue, but they have a mug series. And one single mug can go for well over $100. Moomin, that's what it is, Moomin Men. It's like M-O-O-M-A-N. Uh, 
I found one at the thrift store for $2 a few years ago. And on my way home from the thrift, someone rear-ended me. And so I was just like so frazzled and I got home and I was trying to clean some garbage out of my car and I had the thrift store bag in my hand and I had the garbage bag in my hand and I went over to drop the garbage bag into the garbage can and I dropped my thrift bag and I broke the mug and I wanted to die. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, the accident and then... <laughs> And then breaking the mug, like my heart was broken over that. The, the accident, not so much. I mean, the other person had to pay to have my, my bumper fixed. But all right. Anyway, moving on. Keep your eye out for Arabia, Finland. So now, what else did I buy? What else did I buy? I got another, another Roku here. These have been selling for me. This one even has like the, the little earbuds. Um... This is a Roku Series 3. It looks like it's got everything here. So I paid $3 for this. Probably like $25 free shipping off the top of my head. I got a little Deruta platter from Italy. Not really sure how much this is going to bring. I did pay $3 for it. Uh, in the beginning, one of my, my first stop, I believe, I got this Waterford Crystal clock they don't tend to do really well but I mean I got it for three dollars so we'll see it looks like it needs a new battery it's not moving all right so then the sale with all of the good stuff I actually left some stuff behind that I probably should have picked up I um, ended up just getting a little flustered because I was kind of making such a big pile and then all of a sudden they were all like right in my face asking me like what are you going to do with this stuff and and this and that and I'm trying to like make a deal and try to get them down on price and like they're kind of all in my ear and I was just like I don't know I was a little frazzled and I definitely think I left some stuff behind that I should have picked up I didn't look anything up I was just kind of going on gut or past knowledge so this is what I got from there oh actually some I have some mugs over there that I got as well which I'll bring over, I'll show you at, at some point of this haul. So anyway, got this Goebel, uh, what is her name? This doesn't have the box, so you can't tell. It's, oh, Rosina, I don't know what her last name is, but just Google Goebel, 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 <laughs> Rosina, cat, and this stuff will show up. So this is like a little tiny plate it looks like her stuff can actually do well. So I got this. I spent $70 in total at this sale. Um, then this is a another Goebel, but it's a Mara. And they had some more of this stuff, but I left it behind. And I'm kind of glad that I did. I did get this. I did get this heart, heart vase. It's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm thinking maybe I'll get like 40, 45 on this. Um, but like I said, I am glad I left the other pieces because that particular artist does not seem to do as well. So I got some more of the Rosina pieces. These are actually with the original box. This is another, another little cat kind of dish platter. It's for decorative purposes. Like you can't eat off of these. And then I got this larger one. This one's really cool. This one is like very cool. Paperwork. So yeah, there was a Villeroy and Bach. I think it was a creamer sitting on the table. And in hindsight, I should have grabbed that. I wanted to grab it. I had every intention of purchasing that and for some reason or another I left it behind. Uh, now sometimes creamers and sugars can um, bring the least money out of serving pieces. A lot of times serving pieces are the best pieces to find for a set, you know, but 
not so much creamers and sugar. So I did leave that behind, even though I did have the intention of picking it up. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. It might have been. All right, then I also got, what is this? Uh, this is, oops. This is another Rosina piece, another Goble. Little tiny, little candle. So I guess it's a tea light. Comes with a very different box. Um, I don't know, this just stood out to me. It's just a frog, frog leg bottle stopper for like a wine bottle. Uh, I got this Debbie Mom's Sticky Notes and this Margeline Baston Nature Diary. I don't know how this is going to do, but um, as I said in the video, I did pick one up the, the week before at the thrift store and I paged through it and I thought it was blank, but it wasn't. Someone had started writing in the January part, so can't really do anything with that. All right, then I did get this Vilroy and Bach. Uh, oh, she gave me all these little, um, she was like, these are freebies. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I spent enough there on the items I got. There goes that one. These are little heart tins from that Rosina woman. Anyway, this is a Vilroy and Bach. I guess that's apples. Little apple hinged box. Some hinged boxes can do very well. Not sure how this one's gonna do, but we are gonna give it a try. And then what do we have in here? This is a hinged teapot. And I have sold these before. This one looks very nice. And it still has the tags and the certificate of authenticity, which is really good. I've never found one in this good of condition, but this is um, Kelvin Chen. I have sold these before and some of these bring really good money. Um, little enameled mini teapots. I'm not sure what I'm going to get on this exactly, but I will tell you it's going to be at least $25. So, and this one's, in, like I said, in very nice condition. There are some um, that you'll find out there that look very similar but are not Kelvin Chen, but the Kelvin Chens are always always marked on the base. Let me see if I can peel this sticker off and show you. There you go. Get it back in this box. Alrighty. Then, this, this was a good deal. I found a coach key fob. Key ring, key whatever and it's like new in the box got hearts rhinestones i don't know they're kind of flip-flopped you can't really see them very well that way but you get the idea anyway these coach key fobs usually sell pretty well um anywhere between like 25 and 50 dollars i know that sounds crazy but but it's true People really love these. So yeah, got that with the box. And then I did pick up this Tiffany & Company bowl, which sometimes their crystal is not so hot. And I just kind of glanced at it. She gave me a good price on it, so I took it. But I was hoping when I got home, I said, I hope it's the hearts pattern because she had a lot of like heart themed stuff. This one, however, I believe is dolphins. And the dolphin one doesn't seem to sell as well. But since I do have the box, I'm hoping I can get 35 for it. Um, so this is what it looks like. I actually found a Tiffany & Co. bowl made in Italy at a yard sale on Friday. I actually went out with my mom. I took my mom out and I did not film that day, but um, I found a Tiffany & Co. bowl that day for $3. So, and, and that one seems to sell, have a pretty good sell-through weight, that sell-through rate, that particular pattern. So anyway, that's my Tiffany bowl. Alrighty, then I got these two, I thought these were kind of neat, but I don't know, they don't seem to do particularly well. Maybe maybe that red one, but I got two of these 
Congressional Club cookbooks. Um, I don't know. I thought they were very nice. So we'll see. Uh, this one is like a red leather bound. This one actually might do. I mean, even the interior, it's a beautiful cookbook. It really is. It's a very, very beautiful cookbook. All of the, the font and then the script and everything. I mean, it, it is nice. So we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, let's see here. <laughs> this haul is gonna be so long as as my hauls usually are. Okay, this is a Keystone Plus. It's a Nike durable bat bag with fence clip. I don't know what the heck a fence clip is or what it's used for or whatever, but it's new with tags. So I said, why not? I got it for three dollars. Um this guy was this guy was really cheap. So all of these DVDs were 50 cents a piece at this sale. So I got the ones that were sealed, Grey's Anatomy, second season, South Park, second season, Bob Newhart, first season. I mean, I'm thinking they should bring a few bucks. Uh, then I got a bunch of all new and sealed The Rockford Files. So it looks like season one through six, the final season. So all, it's a complete series, which is good. So this should bring, I'm guessing, at least 50 bucks. I'm guessing. So not too shabby. All right. And then more DVDs at another sale. Now these, I actually... These I actually have, I think maybe four seasons listed and they haven't sold yet. But since this appears to be like, it might be the full series. I don't know. It's the King of Queens, but there's a lot of them here. And these were $5 for the entire stack. Ninth season. How many seasons were in this? I have one through nine. So hopefully, hopefully it's only been nine seasons or it was only, eh, you know what I mean. And then she's like giving me all these like freebies. I don't know, I guess it's from like somewhere she worked, the Bradley Marketing Group. I don't know what the heck half of this stuff is, to be honest. She tried to like explain to me. Oh, here's a lavender soap. Hmm, it smells nice. Oh, this is like one of those RFID wallets. She said you can protect your cards. Here we have some sticky notes. <laughs> I don't know. She just had this whole bin, so she's just throwing this stuff in. All right, let me take a moment to switch this stuff out. Alrighty, so I brought more of the stuff over. What a what a mess. I just had just had a rug topple to the ground and almost knocked my garbage can over. Anyway, this was this was the Lennox piece that I got um, where I found those cosmetics. Just a little carpenter Santa. I don't know how he's going to do. I don't usually purchase longer burger baskets. Um, but this one had the lid. I thought it was nice. Oh, I have stuff inside here. Oh, okay. It had the lid, the liner, the protector. And I ended up getting it for $6, and it looks like, I think this should go for about $30. It's a 2001 Shining Star Basket. So, we'll see. Like I said, I don't I don't typically pick those up. So, at the same place, I got this um, Romero Brito. I love his art. A little creamer for $2. A little heart-shaped box for $2. Oh, no, that one was a dollar. So we'll see. His Disney stuff can do really well. A lot of his stuff can do really well. This was for, from the first stop. This Christmas Story uh, glass and ice cube tray combo pack. These usually, this stuff usually sells pretty well around the holidays. I always pick up that kind of stuff. Uh, this box is in really sad shape, but um, this is a Disney... Lady and the Tramp Magnetic Salt and Pepper Set. One of my favorite Disney movies. I loved Lady and the Tramp when I was younger and when my kids were younger. Pottery Barn T 
2018 butterfly pillow, new in package. This was a dollar. Oh, and before I forget, up behind me, those two, I'm not quite sure if they're Mexican figurines or if they're like Native American um, crown dancers. I'm not quite sure. I got those from one of my viewers. Um, he goes by the Big Kahuna on YouTube. Um, and he gave me both of those for $3 or no, $8, $4 a piece, a total of $8. Jeez. Oh, I'm not sure why I'm struggling with that. Anyway, $8 for the pair. So they are displayed up there. I think they're pretty cool. I may list them at some point, but I'm going to leave them up there for a while. And, um, yeah, so it was really, really nice to, to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the deal. So anyway, really cool. It's always cool to meet. It's always cool, cool to meet you guys out in the wild. I was actually shocked. I was walking up to his house and he says, Hey, Tina. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just, I'm still not used to that when, when people recognize me and I'm like, are they talking to me? <laughs> he was talking to me. So anyway, moving on in the hall, I got this carousel horse. It is a San Francisco music box horse. I have to look this up. I got it for a pretty good price. I think I paid a dollar or two for it. Um, but San Francisco music box company is a pretty good, pretty good brand. I also, this one, whoo, this one's not going to be fun to ship, but I also got this one. Um, yeah, it was towards the end of the day. I might not have picked this up if it was the beginning of the day. But anyway, that's also also San Francisco. There it goes. Also San Francisco music box. Uh, some dinnerware. I've sold this pattern before. I forget how much it brings. I also have the cups with it somewhere down there. But this is Victoria and Beale accents. Kind of scratched up, but I only paid, I think I paid like two or three dollars for the full the full set all right you know me and peggy car glass i paid five dollars for this they wanted ten on it but i got it for five here's the ten dollar <laughs> price sticker but this is a really nice fall leaves pattern um i wonder if this one's signed I'm trying to see if i see it like I said, sometimes someone did ask me if Peggy Carr glass is signed and it usually is, but unless it's second, second quality, then it isn't. And I don't see a signature on this one, but it's still beautiful. And I should still get probably, I'm gonna guess $40 on this. That's a guess, maybe more, maybe less. Uh, picked up a pair of Nikes. They look to be in really good condition. Not sure what this particular style is going to go for, but I'll find out. I paid $5 for them. I have these sitting on the table the last round of stuff. Not sure if I showed them. Uh, I got these for three bucks. Just a pair of Motorola Talk About two-way radios. They're battery operated, so they don't need to be charged or anything. They have the instructions. Got this from the lady who was selling everything for a dollar, um, where I got the Halloween, the Halloween stuff and the, um, pottery bowl. This is a light stim mini. I don't know what all this noise is in here. Is it this thing? No. So it must be like the accessories making all this, making all this noise. This does not appear. Oh yeah. Okay. So there's, um, like a lifting cream, which actually feels empty. Yeah, this probably has been used. Let's get the little eye goggles. This is some reconstructing serum. I mean, I'll list it as used, but some of these, um, it's for wrinkles, apparently. Some of these can go for like over $100. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much I'm going to ask for this, but I paid a dollar for it. Uh, and then I got this little Ann Gettys figurine. I don't know if her stuff still sells or, or whatever, but 
I thought it was really cute um, and it was 50 cents. Uh, <clears throat> and then I got these two Royal Worcest, Worc oh, I can't speak, Worcester. However you say that, I'm not saying it very well. Uh, these are egg, egg coddlers. Some of, these are kind of basic, but I have sold some of these for $50 a piece. I think one was like a New York City like skyline on it or something. Um, this looks like it's got like blackberries or maybe elderberries. Um, I don't know. So we'll see from Anna and John. 8, 1969. So these bad boys are pretty darn old. They don't look like they're that old, but I guess they are. So we'll see how these do. I paid $5 for the pair. The lady's like, what are you going to do with those? Are you going to resell those? <laughs> like a lot of people, a lot of people were asking that question this, this weekend. Very weird. Uh, I also got all of this. I think it says Corby Hall, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look this up, but I, I thought that the pattern was cool. Just a random lot of flatware. Um, but the handles are kind of cool. So I'll have to look up that brand in that pattern. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, this I did get. I thought that one house was going to be, when I pulled in, if you watched my video from yesterday, it looked like a hoarder situation. I thought it was going to be really good, and it was kind of lackluster. It wasn't It wasn't that great. But I picked this cat up. Um, it's like a sleeping cat. It's Asian and I don't see any exactly like this, but some of these can go for over a hundred dollars. So fingers crossed that this is one of them. I am gonna price it high and see what happens. All right, so next I did get this uh, bar set. It's like a fire truck. Um, this has a pourer that's inside of it. it. I think that this is supposed to be musical. Uh, I don't know, it looks, it could be missing something. Uh, maybe that goes on top of the pourer. Or maybe it goes, oh, maybe on top. I don't know. Maybe that's to, that doesn't fit either. I don't know. We'll see about this. I've sold something similar in the past for a good amount of money. I paid five bucks, so I figured I would give it a shot. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It winds up on the bottom. So then when you lift the bottle, it should play something. It works. Okay. <laughs> Yay. All right. I don't know. We'll see what this brings, but weird bar crap. I always have to pick it up. All right. So now let's see what else here. Okay. So in here, I got some Pimpernel coasters. These are carousel horses. And I did not buy them the same place where I bought the carousel horses. Um, but I figured those will, those should do well. And I've sold these different themed Pimpernel coasters time and time again. Some go for a really good amount of money. I got four cross stitch kits and I'm not sure how much these are gonna go for, but they look very well made. They look like quality kits and they are for bookmarks or you make it, you make a, it's a bookmark after you stitch it basically. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are, these are really nice. 50 cents a piece. So I can't wait to list those. What else do I have in here? Okay. I have a possible dreams motorcycle Santa. They usually do pretty well. Um, possible dreams in general usually sell the best ones for me are like the motorcycle themed or the Irish Celtic ones. They seem to sell the best for me. So, yeah. All right, then I got a New York, um, New York Giants toaster. So when you toast the item, it has like a little imprint of the team. So this is open box, but it's never been used and it was $5. So we'll see what this brings. It's a good team. So like 
as far as like people like New York Giants like merchandise and stuff so it should be okay then I got these these are the mugs that I got at that um the sale where I got the Tiffany and stuff these are the Vilroy and Bach mugs Cortina 2000 I'm not sure cups and saucers basically not mugs but I'm not sure how that pattern's gonna do but I will find out uh, then the same place I got those bookmarks, I got this Pottery Barn rug. <laughs> I just buy all kinds of random crap, don't I? But um, I've sold rugs before. I sold an anthropology rug one time for I think like $250. It was like a child for a children, child's room. Um, I don't know. Anyway, this is kind of like a woven type thing. I'm not sure. How much I'm gonna ask for it yet but I paid five I will probably ship it right in this packaging tape it up you know tape the end close slap a label on it and boom there you go all right I have one last switch out here and and we'll wrap up this haul okay so one of my first stops and I'm not proud of this but one of my first stops I bought used puzzles I never buy used puzzles. I don't know what I was thinking. Do you ever get, those of you who go out garage sailing and yard sailing and everything, do you ever get just like overly excited <laughs> and just buy something that later you're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have used puzzles. But she did bag everything. She bagged there's four puzzles in each box. I got five of them. I only brought one over here because you don't really need to see all five of them. But she um, she individually bagged each one and she separated between the middle of the puzzle and the edges. So the edges are all in a separate baggie. So, I mean, she really took time and care. So I doubt that any pieces are missing. So, and I don't know, I have all like the pictures in here and stuff. I don't know. These are Disney Thomas Kincaid. I think, I hope I should be able to get maybe 15 a piece for them. I'm not sure I might auction them. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do at this point. And I have to do a little more research, but I did pay, I think I paid 20 for all. She wanted no, no, no. I paid 25. I think she wanted six a piece, but I got them for five a piece. Yikes. We'll see. I don't know. I think it'll turn out. All right. So then I stopped at a sale with a massive amount of sneakers and shoes. I was so stoked. So she gave me a good deal. I paid a hundred dollars for everything I'm about to show you. So yeah, it's a pretty nice haul if you ask me. So these are all, I believe they are all women's size eight. Let's see, these look, a, no, yeah, they are, I think. These are, um, these are a little dusty. These have a couple little marks, but these are Salomon and they seem to do pretty well. So she had the same pair. And look at, I mean, these are all barely used. Maybe a little dusty, but barely used. So she's got the same pair in different colors. So there's this. I don't know, purplish, pinkish, this aqua color. And then we have another pair in more of a darker blue. Again, the same exact style. So I got three pair of those. Uh, a pair of Hoka's, also very, very good condition. Like apparently she just buys so many shoes. She said she had probably like four more bins that she didn't even bring to the sale. I'm like, oh, you should have. I got these Merrells, also in great condition, a little dusty, but these Pumas have never even been used. They still have the tag. <clears throat> they are a little dusty from wherever she had them. These are really cool looking, like a lavender Nike really great condition these actually may not have even been used like usually when they're used that little dot starts to wear relatively quick uh yeah these are these are actually cool all right 
pair of Asics, never been worn. Just a little, like I said, a little dusty. I have to wipe them off. Check those out. These are, these are cool. I have to look up the style of these. Here's another pair of Asics. These are the Gel Nusa Tri-10. Check those out. Like, how cool is the print? I think this might be, um, I don't know if this is the, yeah, this is the breast cancer awareness right. print. And then there's another pair that's also a breast cancer uh, awareness type shoe. It's a Christina Applegate foundation sneaker. And then a pair of, these look really cool. These are Reebok CrossFit. Not sure of the exact style, but kind of neat looking. Then I got two pair of Corky's. Um, the, this is a pretty good brand. So two pair of heels in really good condition, gently used. And then a pair of Cole Hans. I don't know, these have not been used. Yeah, these are like the go-to collection, new in box. So that is my haul from there. So I got like, I think it was like 14 pair for $100. And I should make a really good profit because these are some really nice shoes. So definitely excited about that. All right. So then I got this. This is a Lennox Winter Greetings. I got this with four mugs. I'm not going to bring all of them over here, but $2 for the set. So that was like a definite bargain. All right, then this house where I got this stuff is the same place where I got the $30 Lennox. And um, with that $30, everything cost me a total of 70 there. So I guess I paid 40 for all this stuff. So these are gourmet settings. This is um, the twist pattern, some cocktail forks, some spreaders. Uh, I got a bunch of these, the Lennox Spice Garden, so clove, she said she had the full set and for some reason she had extra, so she sold the extras. So these, I will just list as single items, like as replacements, so there's time, I think I got a pretty good amount of those. Time, nutmeg, parsley. So there's four so far. Pepper, salt. Oh, these are actual shakers. So these these are just not even containers, they're actual shakers. Hmm. That's actually cool. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, this I thought was really neat. It's like an enameled, an enameled pot. Folklore enamelware, enamel coffee pot. I am not sure how much this is going to bring, but I just really, I really liked it. It's a trademark of Wild and Wolf. Let me check that out. Looks like a quality piece, so we'll see. I'm excited to look that up. I got this uh, Lawrence personal navigator, like an outdoor GPS navigator. Uh, so looks like it's in pretty good condition. Let's see how much that'll bring. This is a sugar skull. It does have a little tiny nick right at the bottom, but it's not major. This is a sugar skull wax warmer. It's not scentsy, but I still thought it looked cool. And then these are, um... Port Marion Botanic Garden mugs. So we'll see. Uh, I might list, I got two of them. Oh, wait, are they the same? They, they are the same. So I will probably list those together. Certain, if they're different, sometimes a certain pattern will bring more money than others, but those will get listed together. Not sure how much yet. Oops. 
And then I did get these two dance oyster plates, which in hindsight, maybe I should not have. They don't seem to sell particularly well, but I'm hoping to get 30 for the pair. Oh, and then lastly, I did get that Lisa Frank uh, backpack or travel luggage type thing. It is in poor condition, but the lady said a dollar and you guys know how I feel about a dollar. I'll buy almost anything for a dollar. <laughs> no, not quite, not quite, but I did get that. And I think I'll be able to sell it for at least 20, even though the sticker's peeling off, someone can glue that or whatever. Uh, and then I did purchase that silverware set, the uh, silver plated set that was in the beginning of yesterday's video for $20. I did not bring that over here, but I did purchase that set as well. So I actually have amassed quite a few silverware sets and I need to start getting listed. But as you can see, I kind of have a lot of stuff to list, but I've been listing pretty regularly and things have been selling. So it's been all good. Um, I want to keep this momentum up because there will be slow sourcing days at some point and um, I'm going to have a ton of stuff to stock my store. So no slowing down. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this haul. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.